Hello, Keller Williams. I'm Christy Bryant with the Best of Austin Living Team, Market Center number one in Austin. I teach agents how to use DocuSign. This video is specifically to show you how to set up a template in DocuSign without using Dot Loop. So the previous video that I shared with you downloaded a template from Dot Loop, pulled it into templates, my templates within DocuSign. If you have never used Dot Loop or for whatever reason you're wanting to pull it in directly from DocuSign, I'm going to show you how to do that. So we are in the room for Sally Smith. We've worked with her for a couple of videos now. I have already filled out the information in the uh, information about brokerage services form. So the information is in here. You could create another room within DocuSign, maybe call it templates. And you won't be able to pull from that room, but that could be the place where you work on the documents that you're wanting to create templates from. It'll make sense in just a moment. So I happen to still be in the Sally Smith room. This is the information that I'd already put into the information about brokerage services. I'm going to save and close. If you'll notice on this particular page, there is not a way to download this PDF. So here's a little hack that we have. So if I go to information about broker services, I click on it, the toolbar appears, I go into DocuSign. And somebody else may have a more elegant way of doing this, but this is what I figured out so far. And I click on view, so this is the document. Here on this page, it'll allow me to download this particular document. So I'm gonna download it. Now, I am going to I actually want to get out of where I'm at right now. So I'm just going to click, I could either click save and close. I could just go back and be inside the room. So um, once I'm inside this room, same as on the other video where I showed you how to take it in from dot loop, I'm going to click on my name, my picture, excuse me, click on switch to e-signature. Once you're in this side of DocuSign, you want to click on my, uh, excuse me, click on templates. These are the templates that I have created. This is the one that we just pulled in from Dot Loop. We're going to now pull in the one that we just downloaded from DocuSign. So I'm going to click on new, create template. We're going to call this information about broker services. Uh, since I'm training, this is part of the training session, I'm going to date it. And then for the purpose of keeping this, um, I'm just going to put DL DocuSign. So I know this is the one that we pulled in from DocuSign. I could add a description here if I need to. I click on Upload. And this is the form that we just brought in from DocuSign. We need to add recipients, so I do want to set the signing order. We're going to have buyer one. Remember the exact way that you type in and name this role is very important. If I put anything other than buyer one and spell it this exact way, then I'm going to have uh, a little bit of an issue when I go in to pre-tagged roles. So make sure that you do it exactly like this. And if you don't, you'll, you'll figure it out. I had to figure it out. So um, I have the roles set, set, I have the signing order set, needs to sign, that all looks good. I could, if I want to, go ahead and have an email message that is filled out here. For the purpose of this, we're going to move on. I'm going to click Next. So basically, this is pulled in a PDF. I no longer am using the capability of DocuSign for the pre tag roles up until this point. I'm going to uh, enable DocuSign to do it again. So here I need to add initials. This particular document needs initials. I have buyer one. I'm going to put in the initials. As many of y'all know, I like for things to be pretty and neat. So I'm going to do that. Um, I am going to put in buyer two. If I don't end up having a buyer two, then it just won't populate that with it. I need a date. I'm going to go back to buyer one because if I put in the date, with buyer two, and there's not a buyer two, then it won't add the date. But I definitely will have a buyer one. 
I want to put the date signed as far to the left as I can because there is a, a timestamp. Our market center has opted to use a timestamp. Not all the market centers are doing that, but it makes it really long in this field. And that's it. And I'm going to go to save and close. So really quickly, I'm going to show you then in the room how to do it. On the other video, I showed how to pull in a document from the room plus the envelope. This particular video, I'm going to show you just the envelope. So I'm going to go back into my Sally Smith buyer room. And I'm going to go directly into envelopes. I am skipping the documents page. I'm going directly into envelopes. I don't have any other documents that I need to use. I'm going to click on new. And I'm going to click on use a template. Let's find the one that we just did. So it's going to be this one, information about brokerage services at 11.07 a.m. Click add selected. I can adjust the envelope name. Here's my document, add recipient. I'm going to use the pre-tagged roles. I only have a buyer one, which is going to be Sally Smith. Add selected. I don't have anybody else. I'm not going to send it to myself. I could certainly put in here for Sally, please DocuSign IBS. Please read, oops, review, ask questions. Here's my great typing, ask questions and then sign. And I'm gonna click on next. And this will send this particular document to Sally. So that is one way to use templates. Um, what I want to say is that I only use templates for pretty much the buyer representation agreement, um, a few documents, a handful of documents. So I will show you again which documents I use for templates. The rest of them I'm filling out. I found that there's too much information that those documents need and it's not uh, time efficient for me to use templates for other forms. So I have seller disclosure relationship with the residential service company. We have that in the state of Texas. I have a seller version, a buyer version. I have the general information and notice, the IBS, and the wire fraud. Those are the documents that I am using as templates. If you have any questions, comments, leave them below and there will be more videos coming.